Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving tech in the world of Tesla. After a long delay, we've received a flurry of new updates, culminating in the latest version, 2019.12. There's lots of exciting new features to cover, including dog mode, sentry mode, and the big one we've all been waiting for, navigate on autopilot with no driver intervention. All right, let's hop in the car and check out some of the new features and updates that have been added over the past few months. Okay, so it's been a while since we've checked in and we've had a number of new features added. So let's take a look at some of the older features that have been added since last time we've been here. So you may be familiar with the emissions testing mode, which is the, basically the uh, whoopee cushion simulator. And you can turn that on and have the sound come from any of the different seats and activate it on demand. Not terribly useful, but it's still kind of fun once in a while. And we've also had the romance mode. Get a cozy fireplace there. And it should kick in some romance playlist as well. There we go. <laughs> we've also recently added sentry mode, which will record any suspicious activity while you're not in the car from two side facing cameras and the forward facing camera. It'll also sound the alarm and play really loud music if it detects anything more serious like a break in. I played with this a little bit and it works pretty well and uh, the recording quality isn't that great but it's usually good enough to detect a face, maybe a license plate and, uh, and it also gives the warning on the screen saying that recording is in progress which is pretty cool especially if someone's you know, peeking through your windows and sees that, maybe it'll deter them. In addition to sentry mode, the built-in dash cam feature now records from the front facing camera and two rear facing side view cameras. Another new feature that I really like, uh, especially for my little dog, is the dog mode for the climate control. So you have to access that, you just go into climate, and then instead of the normal one where you could keep the climate on, you can go to dog mode, which will show a display on the screen saying that my owner will be back soon and the current temperature in the cabin. So if anybody's worried about your dog as they walk by, they'll know that the air conditioning is on or the heat is on to keep your dog nice and safe and comfortable. And the big feature in this update that everybody's been waiting for is the navigate on autopilot with no driver confirmation for the lane changes. So basically now it does all of the driving on the highway, navigating around traffic, changing lanes all on its own, and it's, it's working really well so far and it's pretty cool. Um, it gives you some more op options here for autopilot. So you can now uh, enable the navigate on autopilot automatically for every trip you do. Uh, you've got the speed-based lane changes like before, and you can tell it if you want to require the, com the uh, lane change confirmation like you did before, or you can disable that, which I have done. And it also has the lane change notification option, so you can have it not tell you ahead of time before it's going to make a lane change, or you can, you can have it do a chime, uh, or vibrate the steering wheel, or both. I have it set to both, which I like, so as I'm getting used to it, it gives me a little vibration on the steering wheel and it makes a chime before it does the lane change. And uh, it gives you a really good sense of, uh, you know, knowing what's going to happen, especially when you're still learning its capabilities. And uh, I really like it. Another nice new addition to autopilot is the reduction of the nag time. Uh, before on, at highway speeds I was getting maybe 13 to 15 seconds between nags. Now it's, it's somewhere between 35 40 seconds depending on your speed. Sometimes over a minute if you're going a little slower. Another nice little update to autopilot is when you're in regular auto, autopilot without navigate on autopilot. You can now make uh, lane changes with just a tap of the turn signal. So you don't have to do a full turn signal, manually turn it on and off. You can just tap it and uh, it does your lane change for you, which is quite nice. 
Another nice new feature is the uh, geofenced auto folding mirror feature. So in your quick controls here, you can fold the mirrors. And then it says here, always fold mirrors at this location. So if you have a really tight garage that you always go to, or any other tight space where you want to fold your mirrors automatically, you can set that feature, always fold mirrors here. And then every time you enter that location, it'll automatically close your mirrors so that you don't have to worry about bumping them as you go through. Pretty cool. Another nice little user interface update is the amalgamated climate controls. So now with your climate, everything's all in one spot. So you don't have to flip between tabs to try and find your heated steering wheel or heated seats. Uh, it makes it a lot safer, a lot better to uh, quickly access all of your climate controls. So with software version 2019.12, there's this new software update feature. So it says you can get more information about your software update. And also, in addition to your current software version, you can see where there is, when there is a new software update package available to be downloaded. A download progress bar is displayed once your car is connected to Wi-Fi. After the download is complete, you will continue to be able to schedule when to install the software update or install it immediately. So hopefully this means that as soon as a new version is available, uh, you can force it to download before it would normally uh, get it on its own, and then you can get the software version a little earlier than before. So hopefully this is the software on demand that uh, Elon mentioned a while back, where you can request uh, the new update as soon as it's available. Uh, but uh, we'll, I guess we'll have to wait till the next one's available to see if that's how it works. We also have a few uh, updates to the Tesla Tari feature. We've got uh, a couple new games, 2048 and Super Breakout. It also gives you a few more control options like using the steering wheel to uh, make some of the control adjustments. But I find it still a little bit laggy and a little bit hard to use. But uh, that's something there to play around with when you're supercharging. So there you have some of the new features and updates added by Tesla over the past few months. How cool is it that our cars keep getting better and better with all these new enhancements and updates completely free of charge? Come back soon to catch our upcoming videos where we'll give the new Navigate on Autopilot's automatic lane changes a real test on the highway, as well as our continued extreme autopilot testing on the gauntlet and on the snake. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase a Tesla vehicle, you can use my referral code here to get both of us a thousand miles of free supercharging. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell so you can stay up to date with the latest updates in self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.